Hi everyone, I am Shifa Cycle Wala. I have seen students struggle a lot about implementing the bug bounty tips which are shared on Twitter by a lot of security experts. So in this series of videos, I am going to be implementing those bug bounty tips for you so that to check and verify whether that tip actually works or no. So let's quickly get started. So here I am on my Twitter account where I searched for bug bounty tips and I got a lot of them so out of which I am going to implement the first tip today which is shared by Rohit Gautam. So this tip is about finding out subdomains with the help of Wayback in three simple steps. So I am going to do all the three steps and verify whether this tip works or no. So the first step is to download the script from github which is given on this github repo. I am going to be opening this into a new tab and I will go to the new tab and download the script first of all. So the script is getting downloaded here. After downloading this script, I am quickly going to go and read the next step which is enter the domain name and the target of the website with the script so that to run it. So let's quickly go and turn on the terminal. I am on my terminal, I am going to quickly drag and drop the script which I have downloaded from github. Ok, so now I am going to get my script from here. Now as I have my script, I am going to quickly go in the downloads folder. Now I am going to give the required permissions to my script with the help of ca and I am going to give the script name. It's wayback urls to subs.sh. Now I am going to hit enter. In order to run any bash script, you need to write dot slash and then the script name. Along with the script, we are supposed to give a target name which we have seen from the tweet. Okay, so here we can see that enter the domain name of the target on website with the script and run it. So we have almost done the second step and then the third step is that you are going to get the subdomains in a very clean and sorted way. So let's quickly go and test that. We are supposed to give a target name here so I am going to write hacktify.in and hit enter. Okay. So I can see a list of subdomains of the domain hacktify.in. It did not took a long time for me to get the results. It was quick, fast, clean and sorted. Uh, so in order for you to find out subdomains with the help of Wayback URLs, uh, you can definitely use this script and if you want to test for any other domain apart from hacktify, so you can write down any domain dot com and you are going to get a list of subdomains i hope this video helps and you all enjoyed learning about this tip a little more thank you so much for watching this video so this tip is a reality and it works thank you so much